Hi there, it's Mrs. Ferris from Wood Library and I guess it's time for a story. Now I work in a library so I'm surrounded by books all the time so today's theme is going to be books. This is called Wait! I want to tell you a story. It's written and illustrated by Tom Willens and it's published by Simon & Schuster. I can't show you the end papers. You give it away. Once, there was a muskrat sitting quietly in a tree. Along came a tiger. I'm going to eat you, little muskrat, said the tiger. Wait, said the muskrat. I want to tell you a story. Okay, said the tiger, but make it quick. Once upon a time, said the muskrat, there was a frog sitting on a pond. A big shark came up through the water and said, I'm going to eat you, little frog. Wait, said the frog. I want to tell you a story. Okay, said the shark, but make it quick. Once upon a time, said the frog, there was a lizard sitting on a rock. A big snake came along and said, I'm going to eat you, little lizard. Wait, said the lizard. I want to tell you a story. Okay, said the snake, but make it quick. Once upon a time, said the lizard, there was a fly sitting on a web. And a big spider came along and said, I'm going to eat you, little fly. Wait, said the fly. I want to tell you a story. I don't want to hear it, said the spider. And the spider ate the fly. <laughs> and I, said the tiger, am going to eat you, little muskrat. Oh, wait, shouted the muskrat. There's more. The lizard ate the spider, and the snake ate the lizard, and the frog ate the snake, and the shark ate the frog. What happened then? asked the tiger. The crocodile ate the tiger, said the muskrat. What crocodile? asked the tiger. Snap. Did you see that? Do you know what that is? That's a tiger's tail. Yes. And the muskrat got away. Well, I was wondering, do you think we can do a finger play about some books? If you'd like to hear a story, clap your hands. If you'd like to hear a story, clap your hands. If you'd like to hear a story, if you'd like to hear a story, if you'd like to hear a story, clap your hands. If you'd like to hear a story, stomp your feet. If you'd like to hear your story, stomp your feet. If you'd like to hear a story, if you'd like to hear a story, if you'd like to hear a story, stomp your feet. If you'd like to hear a story, shout hooray, hooray! If you'd like to hear a story, shout hooray, hooray! If you'd like to hear a story, if you'd like to hear a story, if you'd like to hear a story, shout hooray, hooray! Well, if you'd like to hear a story, do all three. Clap, clap, stop, stop, hooray! If you'd like to hear a story, do all three. If you'd like to hear a story, if you'd like to hear a story, if you'd like to hear a story, do all three. <coughs> Hooray! And we're going to have a story about a dragon who wants to hear a story. This is called Duncan the Story Dragon. It's by Amanda Driscoll, and it's published by Random House. Duncan the Dragon loved to read. And when Duncan read a book, the story came to life. And his imagination caught fire. Unfortunately, so did his book. I just want to finish a book, said Duncan. I need to know what happens. Do the pirates find the treasure? Does the captain save the ship? 
Do the aliens conquer the earth? And I want to read those two wonderful words, like the last sip of a chocolate milkshake. The end. Well, Duncan tried everything to keep his cool. Really, he tried reading in the refrigerator. Truly, he tried reading in front of fans. He tried everything, even being in a bathtub filled with ice cubes. I have an idea, said Duncan. I'll find a friend to read to me. So Duncan searched a nearby neighborhood. Hello, friend, he said to the raccoon. Would you please read me this book? Ooh, wait a second. I skipped a page because I know the raccoon went boom. He hid down at the bottom of the trash can. Well, Duncan explored the evergreen forest. Hello, friend, he said to the possum. Could you please read me this book? Do you know what possums do when they get scared? Blunk. Pretended he was dead. Duncan traveled to a faraway farm. Hello, friend, he said to the bull. Will you please read me this book? Yow! After searching the entire countryside, Duncan trudged back to his cottage. And as he hugged his book, a fat tear trickled down Duncan's cheek. It landed with a plop that dribble drabbled across the floor and then ran split splat into a mouse. Sad ending, said the mouse. I'll never know, said Duncan. And as Duncan explained his problem, he noticed a twinkle in the mouse's eye. Do you like books? Duncan asked. Oh, I love books, said the mouse. Would you? Could you? Will you please read me this book? Duncan asked. Certainly, said the mouse. So the mouse read to Duncan carefully. And together they battled the sea monsters. They dodged icebergs, discovered new lands, they took breaks for roasted hot dogs and toasted marshmallows. One of the advantages of reading to a dragon, I think. And finally, the friends sailed home. And then the mouse read those two wonderful words, like the last sip of a chocolate milkshake. The end. Oh, I'm so glad Duncan finally found a friend to share a story with. Well, could we do another finger play, do you think? Hmm. Which one could we do? I don't know. But my thumb is very wiggly. My thumb is starting to wiggle. My thumb is starting to wiggle. My thumb is starting to wiggle. And now so is my hand. My hand is starting to wiggle. My hand is starting to wiggle. My hand is starting to wiggle. And now so is my arm. My arm is starting to wiggle. My arm is starting to wiggle. My arm is starting to wiggle. And now so is my head. My head is starting to wiggle, my head is starting to wiggle, my head is starting to wiggle, and now so is my foot. My foot is starting to wiggle, my foot is starting to wiggle, my foot is starting to wiggle, and now I'm all tired out. But I have time for one more story. But this one comes with a warning on it. It says, warning, do not open this book. This is written by Adam Lerhart, and it's illustrated by Matthew Forsyth, and it's published by Simon & Schuster. Hmm. It says, do not open this book. But how can we read it if we don't open this book? What do you think? Should we open it? Maybe you should put this book back. You don't want to let the monkeys out. <gasps> Why did you turn the page? 
didn't you see the warning? Stay on this page because you're safe here. This is a good page. I like this one. Should we stay here? We could, you know. Let's turn the page. Oh, oh no. Now you've done it. What are they doing? Oh, what a mess. Naughty monkeys. Well, it could be worse. Do not tempt fate by turning the page. Please. What do you think? Do you want to know what happens next? We'll only find out if we can turn the page. But they're telling us not to. And they asked politely. They said, please. But I really want to know what's going to happen. Monkeys and toucans. Can you stop now? Everything used to be so good, but wait. Did you hear a noise? That didn't sound like monkeys. <gasps> an alligator! This is a catastrophe. This calls for extreme measures. Only you can make things right. We've got to set a trap. Oh. This will surely work. You know what that is, don't you? It's a great trap. Because alligators love toucans and monkeys. And toucans and monkeys love bananas. So we can catch them all in this book, just by using a banana. I wish I'd known that. I just had a banana for my lunch. Shh, quiet now. Don't scare them. You need to be silent so they don't run away. This is our big chance. When you say go, I'm going to close the book. Ready, set, say it. Go. So if you come across a book that says warning, do not open this book. Only open it if you have a banana. Those were our stories for today. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next week when it's time for a story. Bye-bye.